Um, but you said there was more. I thought there was another interview. Yes, actually, I wanted to give the last interview of the day their own video because it really spoke to me. The passion that he has for his house really spoke to me. I almost didn't get this interview. There were some scheduling conflicts. I just about wrote off the day saying it was done. We got a phone call, actually able to go over and talk to him, and I was just amazed at the information he gave me. Here, let me let you see. It's a house uh, that was owned uh, and built by Captain Steele in the 1790s. And it, so Captain Steele was a shipbuilder, and so this is basically his house. He used it both as a business place. Uh, this is what you see downstairs are the counting rooms, and this is uh, his drawing room, and he had his living quarters upstairs. So this is this is basically a shipbuilder's house. So he had multiple layers of work and then yes. the living residence yes. on top. And uh, this house uh, was previously owned by Jean Hepner, who is a founding member of the Fells Point Historic Society. Uh, she is one of the first people who restored this, the, her house and she is a hardcore restorationist and so everything that you see uh, that has been restored was done by her. Uh, it was a basically a, a slum tenement before uh, before she renovated it and uh, she had her house done as much as possible as it had been built in the late 18th century so that's basically the condition that the house is in uh, is to a large extent the same as it was in 1719 when it was built the old, most of the woodwork is original um, Every, like the wood floors are original, all the trims, uh, the, the railing on the, on the staircase is original. And then she did uh, those marbleized baseboards uh, in the old style, you know, 18th century. She redid um, the, the doors as they had been done in the 18th century, even though these are modern doors. She had them full painted with mahogany. Uh, paint and this was done by an artist she told me with gold lining. I mean, it's, it's just crazy <laughs> So I felt I really had to open the house uh, You know, it's also a way of being nice to the historic society. It's their fundraising event and what what sort of uh, Restoration are you working on now? Uh, I redid the kitchen and the bathrooms um, and I could do these modern style because they were usually in parts of the house that were built after the original construction. So I did a, a very modern kitchen okay. in an extension of the house, in an addition that was built in the 1850s and that uh, from which you, you see none of the surviving uh, you know, elements. Right. So you'll see the kitchen is very modern. And the bathrooms, well, they didn't have bathrooms right. the, back then, so I decided, well, I really wanted bathrooms. I've heard them say Americans tear down their history and they don't, you know, they don't have anything older than 50 years old. Europeans sometimes don't realize that uh, you can live in a historic building in, in the U.S. You just have to look for one. Do you have any favorite stories about the house, any place that you're particularly drawn to in the house? Well, this room I really love. I think it is the most beautiful room uh, of the house. Uh, you know, it was the, draw, so the main reception room for this guy, Captain Steele. You know, we know he owned slaves, uh, so that's uh, part of you know a dark part of Baltimore's history. It's a, it's a strange thought to think that um, someone would have such a sophisticated house and then there would be slavery uh, in the city. I think that I find interesting. Uh, another interesting story, which is, I'm not sure if it's a true story, it may be a legend, but the previous owner told me that this house was bought in the 1850s by the Levi Strauss family. Okay. And 
she says that they uh, probably built their factory in the back as their you know blue jeans factory there really? denim factory before they moved to california it may be a legend but i like it <laughs> there are things that we don't know and it's the mystery of this house uh, some of it is a little terrible when you think about the slave story but you know it's history Oh, very interesting interview. I wondered what happened to that house. I'd seen it when the previous owner had it, but I didn't know anything about the new one. Yeah, and the thing that really interested me is that he came from France and specifically looked for a historic district and was drawn to this district because of the history. The festivals and the events were interesting, but what really drew me in were the people. Mark Walker, Captain Jamie this homeowner, and I really wanted to find more people like that. And that really shapes the rest of the videos that I'm gonna show you. I appreciate you taking the time and taking me through this thought process and everything that you're mentally going through <laughs> on this. Um, you wanna go have some lunch and take a break and then we'll do some more? Yeah, that sounds great.